You know that feeling when you open up a game and you're just instantly hit with a wave of nostalgia? You know that feeling when you go back to a game that you've played so much that you can vividly remember specific moments of your life off of it? This is one of those games for me. Call of Duty Zombies has always had a special place in uh, my heart. It's been something I've played since I was a wee young little laddie. Uh, you know, since I think I started playing probably about 10 to 12 years old or something like that. I don't know, it was about the time that Black Ops 1 came out, so uh, it wasn't uh, too far into it. But uh, Zombies is just uh, one of those things where every time uh, I get kind of bored of games, or uh, I don't really know what to do. I always, for some reason, have that itch to to play zombies. You know, it's always been one of those things that's there for me uh, to go back and and play through. And uh, my little brother and I, we've always done Easter eggs together, time and time again over the years. If you go back in my channel, you can find old Easter egg videos where me and him are playing through. Uh, certain easter eggs and stuff like that um, or just me doing it solo, you know uh, It's been something I've always come back to and uh, for the launch of black ops cold war I had gone through and tried to do a round 20 run on every map I gave myself a few attempts as to not like waste a bunch of my time uh, doing that and uh, That was like a whole little mini series that I did Now come to current day it is uh, the very beginning of 2023. I'm filming this um, pretty much the day before uh, what I am going to get into is going to start. So, I think I should just go ahead. Uh, let's see here. I didn't want that, did I? Solo uh, mission select zombies. Uh... I think Doris. Doris is the uh, the map to kind of delve into this and talk about this. Um, so, holy crap! This is so loud in my head. Let me uh, let me go ahead and go into options and turn this down a little bit. Uh, I think Master Vine needs to be like way down here. Okay, that's maybe a little too quiet. This is, uh, this is pretty much gonna be a purely unedited video, so I do apologize for that. Oh, and, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I, uh, played this game. Let's see, how do I... Controls... Look, mouse sensitivity needs to be, like, there, I think. And then... Um... Oh, combat... No... No... Hmm... No. Be in here? Do large. Oh, well, I guess I can't change field of view on here. Oh well. That's fine. Yeah, this is a little bit better. Still a little too sensitive, but that, that's fine, you know. Whatever. So anyways. Uh, this is one of my favorite maps of all time. Uh, Doris here. And, um... You know, over the years, I've come back and played this uh, multiple times, but, you know, World at War Zombies is a little bit uh, finicky. Obviously, as you saw there, I didn't even know what button to press to knife. Uh, it's been a while since I uh, have played one of these really old CODs, so, you know, the controls aren't quite, uh, aren't quite steady and ready, if you will. 
But, um, yeah, so, I kind of wanted to announce this, just so that way it was kind of put out there and stuff like that, but, uh, didn't really know how to do it, and, uh, I was watching, uh, Tim Hansen, one of his new videos where he just, uh, kind of sat down in a zombies game and, uh, was talking about some changes he was doing to his channel, but... Instead of doing changes to my channel, because that's not uh, exactly what's happening here. Um, I'm going to be announcing something I'm going to be doing kind of on my uh, Twitch channel for the most part. But it's also going to have some implications here on YouTube. Uh, but I'll get to that in a second. Is this the car? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oop. Oh, it's uh, click to aim. Not hold down. Hmm. Interesting. I could probably change that, but... Oh, I missed. Well. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Anyways, I was saying, uh, I was watching his video and I kind of got the idea to just sit here, play a little bit of zombies, and then talk about this. But, um, yeah, so, something uh, my brother and I always wanted to do since uh, kind of we started playing zombies, I don't know how else to explain it other than that, uh, was to run through, like, all of the Easter eggs that have ever come out. And, uh, time implications, uh, personnel, because, you know, some of the maps you need four people, others you don't, you know, blah, 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 so on and so forth. But, due to some of those implications, we've never really gotten around to it. Um, but, uh, recently, some things have happened, and, uh, we finally have the personnel, uh, lined up to be able to start going through it. So, what does that mean? Um, that means that <laughs> over probably the next few months, I would imagine, because I don't think it's going to be a very quick thing, we're going to be running through uh, every single Zombies Easter egg. Uh, it's going to be streamed live on my Twitch channel, which will be the top link in the description below. Uh, so, if you want to check that out, go ahead and head down there uh, to kind of uh, take a look at that. But uh, you can follow on there. There's a notification bell that you can ring to get notified every time I go live. Um, and these streams are going to be happening on Fridays and Saturdays for the most part. We may have a few oddballs here and there on like, say, Sundays or uh, Thursdays probably would be the most common ones. But uh, kind of hard to tell when you're just getting it started, you know. It's... Uh, you don't really know how things might change or what may happen over the time period and everything like that. And, um... Yeah, anyways, uh, a lot of rambling, you know, live videos, you know, you just kind of start going off on random tangents, I guess. But, uh, yeah, uh, so this is not, uh, going to just be limited to, um... Like Black Ops zombies, a lot of uh, the zombies videos I've uploaded on my channel and stuff like that are kind of Black Ops uh, zombies centric. But um, just here to kind of put that uh, you know thing down right now because uh, we thought about doing Black Ops only, uh, that which would make it considerably less work in my opinion because. Uh, those are the ones that we're used to and can do pretty consistently. Uh, but, you know, you're like uh, talking with the other people and stuff like that that are going to be involved with this. Uh, we decided that it might be best to just um, do kind of all of them. And uh, some of them wanted to do this in a more specific order, so I decided that I wanted to... Change this to the so I can uh, aim better. But, um, yeah, so, um, we're gonna be doing, um, all zombies. Uh, so that's gonna be, you know, uh, 
not only say World at War, but Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, uh, Black Ops Cold War, then Vanguard, uh, which is kind of the whole suite of Black Ops storyline, right? But also to do, uh, you know, games such as uh, World War II, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, um, and yeah, we just figured that would kind of round out the whole suite there, right? So, um, the day that I'm uploading this is uh, Thursday the, the 5th, I believe. And so every Friday is when I stream live on Twitch for my Valheim series. But, um, you know, that, that kind of is what it is. And um, that's still going to kind of continue because I still need time to uh, record those videos. And I always live stream them. Um, Yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Yeah, blah blah blah. You know, probably doesn't matter much here in this context. But just kind of wanted to say that on the Fridays and stuff like that, when I start streaming, the first few hours is going to be Valheim. Um, that's going to remain the same. And I have dog around here, don't I? Oh no, I don't. That's actually wild. Oh, that's pretty good. That's, that's a pretty good gun. I'll use this for a round. And probably spin the box again, see if I can't get anything different. But uh yeah, so um that's that's kind of kinda of be the, the Friday streams is gonna be uh Valheim. But uh the day after I upload this, um the sixth of January is going to be when we're starting this venture. So, um we're going to be starting with uh, Call of Duty World War II because uh, all the Black Ops games will follow that immediately after. Uh, we're doing it in an order of like kind of when the games take place uh, year-wise. Uh, so World War II kind of felt like it fit the best because uh, Black o or World at War kind of starts at the end of the war. Whereas World War II Zombies is kind of in the middle. Uh, so that just felt like it kind of fit more there. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, you kind of get, get what you get with that. So, yeah, Friday we're going to start playing through the uh, World War II Zombies maps. And um, if you're wondering how that's going to work, uh, I don't really know yet because uh i've only ever done one easter egg on world war ii zombies and the, all the other ones i don't even know how they uh how they work so uh, we're gonna be taking it uh kind of as we go there is uh oh well i'm down okay that's cool round seven <laughs> whatever but we're gonna be taking it as we go um kind of one easter egg at a time and uh, i don't know how many we're going to complete per day or anything like that because you know there's going to be some failures here and there and uh restarting and stuff like that but um the one thing that it means for the youtube channel at least is that uh once we complete an easter egg i'm going to take it and i'm going to upload it here onto uh youtube as its own separate thing but um i think i'll buy the guber at this this time Seems like the a smart choice here, but um, yeah, that's kind of the the plan for this right now. Um, like I said, uh, most of the streams are gonna be on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to upload to YouTube here uh, at least two Easter eggs a week if I can. Um. It, it'll probably be more because uh, especially once we kind of get to the further games past World War II, uh, I would imagine we're going to complete multiples of them at a time. And that'll kind of give us um, kind of more of a chance to just kind of, you know, sh like throw a bunch of them uh, at a time and 
get a bunch of them uploaded to YouTube. Shouldn't be that difficult, I won't think. I don't think, at least, um, you know. Wouldn't think it would be, but, you know, you, you never know with uh, everything that goes on. Because, I mean, there's going to be minimal editing. It's pretty much just going to be like, oh, here's where we're starting this Easter egg. And, oh, look, we completed it, you know. GG. Um, and then kind of moving forward with them like that. And, uh... Uh, I'm gonna be trying to explain a lot of the zombies lore and stuff like that as best uh, You know to my knowledge as I can um, I don't know all of it obviously, but I can uh, kind of call out a good bit of it and uh, Also to the two people that we have joining my brother and I aren't accustomed to a lot of the Easter egg steps At least one of them isn't accustomed to most of them and the other one isn't accustomed with any of them so uh, that'll make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, you know, there'll be some Easter eggs where, you know, uh, like the buried Easter egg where you have the sharpshooter step and everything like that. And they're going to need to be a little bit more accurate and, uh, kind of have a knowledge of what they're doing. And, you know, that may mess us up a few times, but, you know, I think, uh, all in all, it's going to be a good learning experience and it's going to make them, uh, feel more incorporated in the Easter eggs to kind of teach them how to do it as we go instead of just uh, kind of carrying it all on our two backs and doing everything ourselves at least that's how it plans to go you know we'll kind of see how it all works out in the end uh, once we get there but you know oh I completely missed on that guy but uh, yeah um, then as far as games um, you're kind of limited and the time and money uh, that we had to work with so um there is uh one major easter egg that is not going to be completed which is uh call of the dead unfortunately so um we one in a position uh where all of us are on pc so uh in case you don't know world at war here that i'm playing uh if you were to buy it on pc right now they no longer uh, have enough licenses to allow every person who buys it to have a unique user. Thus, you can't log online uh, for World at War anymore. It, like, if you were to buy a fresh, brand new account today, you won't be able to log on to the online multiplayer. You won't be able to log on to co-op zombies, anything like that. Uh, so you're kind of limited to single-player stuff only as far as that. So that means that the Easter egg on this map here uh, will not be completed on World at War, which, you know, honestly isn't that big a deal. Um, so what we're going to be doing for that one is we're just going to be playing the Giant uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, kind of knock it out. Uh, we don't have to revisit it once we get back to it. And Black Ops 3, we can just be like, oh, yeah, we finished it and call it a day there. You know, um... Nice and simple. And then, uh, yeah, we just, uh, we just figured it's not worth the money to buy Black Ops 1 and then buy, uh, the map, the single map or the season pass for Black Ops 1, uh, just for Call of the Dead. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be kind of skipping that one. Black Ops 1 maps, uh, you know, we're going to be doing the uh, gather all three of the reels and then just play them through the projector. That's not really an Easter egg, but it's kind of an Easter egg, I guess. So we're going to be doing that one. But then Ascension, we're going to be doing a Black Ops 4, or not Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3. Um, what else? Shangri-La, we're going to be doing a Black Ops 3. And then Moon, we're going to be doing a Black Ops 3. Because those are the only Black Ops 1 easter eggs that we can do on another game. Uh, other than Call of the Dead, of course, which is the only one that's going to be left out. Because 5 doesn't actually have an easter egg or any easter egg steps like that. So we're good there. Um, we just gotta do um, those four maps. So once we do those four maps, we'll uh, move on and uh, we'll go to Black Ops 2, which will be on Black Ops 2. Uh, like I said, the rest will be in Black Ops 3 up to that point. And um, once we're on to Black Ops 2, uh, we will be uh, doing pretty much all of them. 
uh, you know, uh, you got uh, Transit, uh, Die Rise, Buried, and uh, Mob of the Dead. Those are the four major ones, the fifth and final map of the game, Origins. We're going to be doing on Black Ops 3 also. Um, just kind of kind of explain that real quick too. Uh, the reason for that moving uh, back over to Black Ops 3 is uh, simply because um, the Black Ops 2 version of Origins is still extremely broken. And what I mean by that is um, there is a lot of bugs and stuff like that that will get the Easter egg stuck. And just to kind of save time, hassle, pain, everything like that, we're just going to do it on Black Ops 3. Um, so that way we don't have to deal with a lot of those glitches and stuff like that. I know that there is still one glitch with the uh, whole plane step on Black Ops 3 that can happen. Uh, but, you know, other than that, for the most part, um, there aren't uh, really any issues. So... Uh, that's, that's kind of what we're going to be doing with that. Um, other than that, Black Ops 3 maps are all going to be on Black Ops 3. Black Ops 4 maps are all going to be on Black Ops 4. Then after Black Ops 4, we're going to continue with Vanguard. And after Vanguard, we are going to continue with... Um, da, 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 my brain's not working. Uh, Black Ops Cold War. After Black Ops Cold War is when we're going to go ahead and do... Um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, as that is a kind of more futuristic one that takes place separate from all the Black Ops stuff and everything like that. So that'll be its own separate thing. Uh, obviously not too big of a deal there. And then um, after Infinite Warfare will be when we finish up with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which is obviously the most futuristic uh, variant of the map. This is dog round. I, I want to survive dog round like one time for the video, you know. I feel like I kind of didn't do well last time, so I should probably like do better, be better. But I have the browning this time, so it's like you know way easier. But yeah. and you know, uh, after all those are done, you know, uh, we'll kind of probably do a whole wrap up video and talk about things like that. And, our thoughts on all the different shits and whatnot, but um, Infinite Warfare is probably going to give us a lot of struggles uh, because one, the Infinite Warfare Easter eggs are pretty freaking hard, and uh, we don't really have much experience at all on uh, Infinite Warfare, so it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, yeah I'm dead here. Oh, okay, it'll be interesting to see if we can uh, do all of them, but, um, oh, not really do all of them, but how quickly we can do all of them, or if we can do them in a uh, lesser amount of time than we think. But, uh, right now the plan is to try to get all that wrapped up in, like, two months' time span, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be that. That's the whole video. That's the whole spiel, and that's what's kinda going on, so let me go ahead and just, uh, uh, cause we don't need to do that. We talk about how good the menu music is in World at War. Like, holy crap. It's, wow. It's just, like, oddly creepy and spooky, but yet so, like, real. Touching. And, like, I don't know. It's just... The World at War menu music just really brings a lot of feelings to me. And it's, like, so reminiscent, but... Anyways, yeah, uh, I've been rambling too much uh, through this video, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching me play a little bit of zombies, and uh, there will be a lot more zombies content being uploaded here over the next probably few months and stuff like that. So, and if you want to watch us do these Easter egg runs live, go over to Twitch uh, here on YouTube. You're just going to get the beginning to end raw Easter eggs uploaded, um, kind of... Periodically, I think I'll aim for, let's see, like I do Tuesday, Saturday uploads for Valheim. So 
I think we'll just aim for like Thursday is probably when I'll upload all the Easter eggs that we completed after each weekend. Uh, you know, there may be a few weeks here and there that, you know, uh, they don't get uploaded and that would be either uh, like a week that we just said, okay, we need to take a break or, um, you know, we just didn't complete one in the case of probably like Infinite Warfare. We might not complete one over a whole weekend, but I doubt that. But who knows? Who knows? We'll see uh, kind of how it goes and what happens. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do this. Uh, you know, me and my brother and then uh, the two other people that will be joining us are my friend Fletcher and then my girlfriend who uh, online persona goes by Sukia and stuff like that. So um, you can go over to her stream too. I'll leave another link down in the description below to go over to her stream if you would want to watch her perspective. Um, I don't know if my brother will be streaming at the same time. Either way, we'll have a multi-stream, uh, link, uh, in our Twitch chats, uh, that you can just go in and do exclamation mark MS to pull up all the different streams and one view. So you guys can kind of just watch all of them at once and have that go and stuff like that. Um, so we, you know, if you wanted to watch all perspectives, yada, 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 so on and so forth, uh, you can. But, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a cool experience, and I hope that you guys will be just as excited for it as I am. And, uh, yeah, like I said, that's gonna be it for this video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, video uploads and stuff like that of the Easter egg runs. And I just hope it's a cool little thing to, uh, you know, do. And, uh, I hope some people get some entertainment value out of it, you know, I don't know. How people are going to react to it, how people are going to feel about it, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, yeah. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, I'm going to see you tonight. Peace out.